my YouTube channel. My name is Yitunde and I am the blogger behind SoAvain.com. So today I'll be doing a pattern review on Simplicity 8013 and which is also Simplicity 0210 and um, it is a full wrap 1970s vintage dress that um, it has a bell sleeve, an option of making a bell sleeve or a bishop sleeve and it comes with a sash and um, also a, an invisible zipper in the back and you also have an option of making the dress either t-length or floor length so for the pattern sizing i actually cut out a uh, view a which is the bishop sleeve and a t-length uh, size but i actually removed the i didn't include the sash um but not not because I didn't want to, it's because um, I ran out of fabric, which I'm going to talk about later. And um, I also cut out a size, the pattern size 8 for the bodice and the sleeve. And also, but for the skirt, I cut out a uh, size 14. And the reason why is because I wanted the sleeve, I mean, I'm sorry, I wanted the, the skirt itself to be fuller and um, to bring more volume to the dress. So my finished dress really, I think it looks like the pattern drawing, um, mainly because, um, you know, it's, I use the pattern, but um, it's kind of like a shorter version of view A, um, and also um, it, it doesn't have a sash, but for the bodice itself, I pulled it in more um, so that it could be tighter on me um, in the front. Um, the instructions were pretty easy to follow. Uh, I wouldn't suggest it for a beginner. Um, but it is for an intermediate um, sewer, um, it will be perfect. My favorite part of the pattern itself is the bell sleeves. I thought that was like different, it kind of stood out. It's big and poofy, uh, you know, kind of like in the 70s. Um, so to me, that was that's actually the reason why I chose the pattern to sew. So the, uh, the fabric that I use is the floral print African fabric that I purchased while I was in Nigeria a couple of years ago. And um, it has gold in it and pink and purple and different shades of purple actually. And uh, it has it actually has a bordered print as well, which means on the edge, on the salvage edge of the of the fabric, um, it is continuous. So that kind of to me, I feel like um, it's it makes it more fun to use for this dress. Okay, so the pattern alterations that I did um, is pretty minimal. Um, I shortened the skirt length. Uh, I made it 25, um, just so because I'm short. <laughs> so because I'm short, I had I wanted it to end like right on my knee. So I kind of like measured um, pretty much from my waist to my knee, and then cut the skirt based on that. And another alteration that I did was the bodice area. Um, I tightened the, um, the 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 patterns coming this way I tighten a little bit so that I could fit tighter on my chest and also another alteration that I did was in the sleeves and not because I really wanted to it's because I ran out of fabric and uh, when I laid out the um, the pattern piece on the on the fabric for the sleeve um, there were about three-fourths of an inch missing so I pretty much had to cut that three-fourths out of the sleeve and then pin the rest on the on the on the fabric and then cut it like that. So what I did was I added that three four to the to the wrist area, um, the wrist area of the sleeve, and kind of, that's still kind of like gave me the length that I needed. Um, so the the sleeve went not too short. But that's all the alterations that I did. And also, oh, I excluded the um, the sash. And again, not because I didn't want to, because I ran out of fabric and um, and you know that when you use bordered fabric or printed fabric like this um you notice that you um you tend to use more fabric than you need it <laughs> so because of that i kind of ran out of fabric but i you know i use a i'm using the gold belt which still matches the print and um that's pretty much it would i sew it again definitely mainly because uh, of the sleeves again um this is where i love the dress um and but when i sew it again uh, the next time i sew it should i say um, I will add it. I will add the floor length dress. I will add the floor length skirt, um, or I might even make it into a jumpsuit. Who knows? Um, but this pattern is perfect. I I love it. It's so versatile. I can change up the the bodice of it and just use the sleeve and the skirt, or just use the sleeve um, 
and um, and the top and the bodice and change the bottom. So I, that's why I love this. It's, it's perfect for you know whatever you wanna. So so how would I style this dress? Um, I will pair it with a, a a belt, a thin belt, and also a pair of sandals, um, high heel sandals of course, and um, some gold earrings, maybe a bracelet, and that'll be it. So the only challenge I had with making this dress was pretty much with the fabric, and the reason why was because I wanted the fabric to lay a certain way, uh, which I thought would make the um, dress even you know stand out even more. So um, other than that, I would recommend it to anybody to sew. It's a beautiful dress. It's a beautiful pattern. Um, the bishops, whether you do a bishop sleeve or a bell sleeve or the T length, floor length, or mini skirt, <laughs> either way, um, you know it's a great pattern to sew. Thank you guys for watching my pattern review for Simplicity eighty thirteen. Come back soon and subscribe to my channel. <laughs>